Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation on discrete distribution, population mean, and standard deviation and expected value. I wish to thank Mrs. Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoint to make this set of videos and this is part five of this set of videos and we're on to another example and we have example three here making business decisions and on a certain site a developer can either build a houses or condos and the probability that the economy will be good is 0.25 that it will be fair is 0 0.40 and that it will be poor is 0 0.35 and then we have a table that gives me some profits for housing and profits for condos and then a set of questions and instead of dealing with the questions as a whole let's deal with the questions one at a time the first one says find the expected value of profit for building houses so let's concentrate just on the houses that means we will not look at the profit for the condos let's go back to some of the things that the problem said it told us some probabilities for good economy fair economy and poor economy and we've rewritten those down again re when you do a problem rewrite those down in your own handwriting that helps you take ownership of the problem now as we look at the table it also tells us that the profit in hundreds of thousands of dollars for a good economy is 7.6 fair economy is 2.7 and for a poor economy is negative 0.53 remember that expected value is the mean and the formula for that is the sum of x times p of x and we can find that by adding up those values 25% of the time we will have a good economy so 0.25 we will multiply by 7.6 because 25% of the time we'll get a profit for housing of 7.6 40% of the time or we'll have a fair economy and that'll be fair economy times the fair economy 40 times 0.27 and 0.35 of the time we have poor economy and we'll have a profit of negative 0.53 20 oh she has it written out for me I should have looked ahead 25 percent of the time the profit would be 7.600 thousand 40 percent of the time the profit would be 2.7 hundred thousand and 35 percent of the time the profit would be negative 5.3 hundred thousand and add those up and we get 1.125 hundred thousand and that would be our expected value of the profit for building houses B find the expected value for building condos so we're going to do the expected value of doing the condos which again is the sum of x times p of x and again we have our condos here so this time we're not going to look at the houses we're just looking at the condos 25 percent of the time our condos have a good economy of 4.5 so that'd be 25 percent of the time the profit would be 4.5 hundred thousand 40 percent of the time the profit would be 1.6 hundred thousand and 35 percent of the time the profit would be negative 0.7 hundred thousand or a total of 1.52 hundred thousand and that would be our expected profit for building condos letter C if the decision to build is based on expected values should the developer build houses or condos 
explain. Well, here are our answers, and we get an expected value for housing to be 1.125,000, and the expected value for condos to be 1.52,000. Well, the expected value for condos is higher, so if that is all our decision is based on, then that is the uh, the well I hate to use the word obvious obvious is a bad word in math for a decision based on expected values the developer should build condos because they have the higher expected value if this decision was being made over and over again the long-term average profit on condos is higher D if the decision to build is based on assuming the best possible scenarios for houses and condos with the maximum profits should the developer build houses or condos. Well let's go back to our table and this is for the best possible scenarios. Notice that phrase, the best possible scenarios. The maximum possible profit for building houses is 7.6, so that's the best that you can do for houses, $7.600,000. The maximum possible profit for building condos is $4.500,000. So which is the better profit here? For a decision based on the best possible scenarios for houses and condos with the maximum profits, the developer should build houses because they have the greatest possible maximum profit. The maximum profit of 7.600,000, but the maximum profit for condos is only 4.500,000. If the decision to, ba to build is based on assuming the worst scenarios for houses and condos with the minimum profits, should the developer build houses or condos? Now we're looking at the worst case scenario. The minimum possible profit for building houses is negative five point three hundred thousand that means you're losing five point three hundred thousand dollars but if you build condos you're only losing point seven hundred thousand dollars for a decision based on the worst possible scenarios for houses and condos with the minimum profits, the developer should build condos because they have the greatest possible minimum profit. Here, this is the least possible loss. The most a developer would lose on houses is $5,300,000 but the most that he could lose on condos is only $0.700,000. Here are two exercises for you to try. And one more for you to try. And this is the end, finally, of this set of videos, and I thank you so much for watching. If you need more help and are a Walter State student, please stop by the Math Lab in MBS 222. Thank you.